Wakey, wakey, it's day 13. So last night after having dinner, I was on my way to uh, the monastery and I got a text from Noel. Remember the Spanish guy? Of course you do. He's here and uh, he wanted to go out for a drink. So it was three pilgrims at a bar enjoying a beer. And then I had to rush back to the monastery because it was 9.30 and the doors closed at 10. So yeah, this morning, woke up. Beautiful morning, not as cold as others, but you know, you know the drill. Overcast right now. Hopefully that won't turn into full out rain. Of course not, right? We just want a sunny day. I mean, we've been having such a great time and having so much luck with the weather that it is unbelievable. I mean, this whole region is supposed to be rain, rain, rain nonstop. And I think I've only had a one day of full out rain and then a couple of just little drizzles on 13 days. Incredible. In the Camino Portuguese, I only have one day, which is even, even crazier. Today, looking forward to a 20 plus kilometer day. I'm going to see the coast once again, and I will be there in a few hours. Let's go. Well, this wasn't in the forecast. There was a very little chance of rain for today. I guess that means very little chance that you're escaping today without rain because it caught me by surprise and I'm here hiding behind this little shelter on this uh, parking lot from this uh, pension on the side of the road in a new situation and I need to adapt now. I had to take out the poncho really quick, put all the electronics away in my backpack. And uh, yeah, can't complain. I mean, there's a good, there's a bad, and then there's rainy days. I stopped at a bar in Oreña because uh, I was a little bit hungry and also trying to escape from, uh, from the rain. I uh, went to this bar and I had uh, an omelette and uh, orange juice. I'm already about a third of the way into the day. It's been drizzling all morning. I don't think it's going to stop. All the, the sky is completely overcast in every direction. But it's okay, it's nothing too big of a deal. It's not like a few days back, so I just had to tough, uh, toughen up and, uh, and push through.
Well, it looks like uh, the sky is giving me a break from the rain, which is much appreciated. And uh, I'm very close to the coast. Don't you think, buddy? Am I close to the coast? I think so, which will be a break from the scenery. I've been walking in the countryside, visiting uh, small villages that you see from far atop and you see the road winding its way to them. Pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, now that the rain has stopped, you can smell the wet grass and uh, the birds are starting to sing, you know, the sounds of the countryside and the sights as well. So I just had lunch at a bar at a tiny uh, village, had a regular good old ham and cheese sandwich with a beer and while the locals were uh, watching uh, Mexican telenovelas. It was a little bit surreal, I would say. Just one more to the list of surreal moments that I've had while trekking on different caminos. It is 1.30, hope to get to uh, to town to the albergue uh, around three. Don't want to be there later than that because they only have uh, 20 beds. And uh, so far on this trip, I've had the opportunity, I would say, to always have a bottom bunk bed, but that could soon change. I mean, I'm sure there are not that many people uh, doing the Camino del Norte right now. I mean, I haven't seen more than maybe 15 at one point. So we'll see. So yeah, right now up ahead, there's a split on the road. They both pretty much take me to the same place, same distance. So we'll see which one I'll take when I get there.
Just had a little scare there for a second. It started to drizzle again as I made it my way through the town of uh, La Iglesia. And I uh, had to take out the poncho pronto. In the end, it turned out to be a false alarm. It was just a small drizzle. And I was able to uh, put it away and get some nice aerial shots of that monastery. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It was pretty cool. Almost in Comillas. Should be there in less than an hour. Uh, it's not far in the distance. I can see it from up here. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll see you guys at the albergue. If it's open. If there's space. If I don't have to walk an extra five kilometers today. That even rhymed. <laughs> So guys, I made it to the albergue at 3.30 p.m. Plenty of time uh, to take a shower, wash my clothes, and I went all in with both my sets of clothes. I decided to hand wash them and then hang them out to dry out in the backyard since the sun was very strong and he did most of the job. And then I had to like bring it up to the second floor uh, balcony and just hang it out. And, uh, but it's, it's almost done, it's almost dry. It's 7.30. I think it's time to explore the town a little bit and also get something to eat. I think uh, the restaurant starts to open around 8 p.m. and I'll be the first one in line. By the way, this albergue has one of the best uh, bed setups that I've seen so far in the whole Camino, which is great because you get a little bit of privacy. You have your own uh, outlet and uh, light and you have a curtain. By the way, on a quick note, uh, the albergue has just been like a class reunion of all the people that I come across over the last couple of weeks. I've seen so many faces that I haven't seen in a few days, and it's so nice to finally see them here. Some of them have blisters, others are just taking in their time. But it's, it's, it's pretty cool too that we all kind of met at the same albergue in this town that I didn't think was that much of a big deal, but it's actually been quite lively, it has a lot of history, it has uh, some few places that you can actually go and visit and there's a lot of tourists walking around, so that's always, I guess, a good sign.
So I came to the supermarket in search of that plastic cover for my uh, bar of soap and they looked at me like uh, they had no idea what I was talking about so uh, you know I just gave up I think I'm just gonna put it in one of those plastic bags that I have I have so many of them for my electronics I think I, I can spare one so yeah let's go for that dinner because I'm starving I'm always starving So I had dinner at the only uh, bar or restaurant open in town and I completely uh, went over budget that I had set for myself. I uh, spent about 20 euros, but give me a break, it was, it was worth it, I gotta tell you. Let's see, a bottle of wine, all you can drink I guess, and then uh, the first course was uh, pulpo with mashed potatoes. That was just a starter. Then after that, I, I went for the chipirones, chipirones, that I've uh, come to enjoy so much over the last few weeks. And, and, for dessert, I had flan with uh, whipped cream. All in all, 20 euros, not bad at all. And I'm heading back to the albergue, but it is quite a climb. I mean, look at it. You can see two pilgrims up there going up as well. So guys, that's it for day 13. 13 days. You know, it actually took me 12 days to do the Camino Portuguese, the coastal route from Porto to Santiago. And I'm not even halfway to Santiago right now. So there you have it. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow morning sharp because there's a 100% chance of rain tomorrow and I gotta leave early. So see ya.